Good afternoon. I'm Dave Percy at the National Weather Service with Sunday's Alaska statewide weather. Lots of low clouds and fog held over the Gulf of Alaska and up along the North Gulf Coast and along the Panhandle Coast, but that pulled just offshore during the afternoon temperatures anywhere from 65 to 82 over the southeast coast. It's another hot day again. This is Sitna Valley, Kuskokwim Valley, and across southern Alaska with Stony reporting 93 degrees at 3 in the afternoon. Stony River at 91, Big Lake, Chitina, which is in Copper River Basin, and Talkeetna all had 90. And temperatures are in the lower 90s over the Kenai Peninsula, Skelac Lake reporting 91. It was well into the 80s into interior Alaska, northward with sunshine all the way out to the Arctic coast where Dead Horse had 70 degrees this afternoon. It will be mostly clear tonight through the northern Bering Sea and along the southwest coast, including Nunavak Island. Uh, look for some clouds to possibly form with patchy fog for the Pribilofs. Rain with a low pressure area will fall over the Mostly the central and eastern Aleutians are spread to the eastern Aleutians. And there's a risk of a thunderstorm over the panhandle towards Stewart and Hyder. Otherwise, uh, it'll be variably cloudy across the southeast coast. And a dense fog advisory is out for the entire night for the western Kenai Peninsula and the mid Tanana Valley. And for Monday, smoke will continue over interior Alaska, mostly along the uh, Kuskokwim and Yukon River Valley areas into the mid to upper Tanana Valley. Otherwise, it'll be sunny and hot again with temperatures in the across southern Alaska from the Copper River Basin to Kuskokwim Valley, anywhere from 90 to 95 degrees, with uh, temperatures in the 80s to lower 90s over the northern interior, south of the Brooks Range. But it'll be sunny over the north slope with temperatures in the 70s. Look for, again, a repeat. Uh, a little bit of cooling may take place over extreme southern Alaska, mostly south-central Alaska, and possibly in the Copper River Basin as well, with a risk of thunderstorms over the Western Alaska range in the late afternoon and early evening. It'll be mostly cloudy across the southeast coast with risk of isolated thunderstorms along the eastern border. And it'll be hot in interior Alaska with temperatures 85 to 95 for the highs and extreme fire danger will continue to expand. Look for low clouds and fog along the Arctic coast and through the Bering Strait. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.